What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have a really cool mono crystalline power, uh, solar power pack. Uh, it's gonna be used for my uh, power station that I have right behind me. I'm gonna give you guys an idea of how it works and it was a valued item that I found on eBay. I'll tell you all about it here guys really soon. I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share guys. You guys have been very, very cool with all the cool feedback and questions. Uh, like I said, I just do tech reviews. I buy everything myself. I just try to do an honest review and bring that information to you guys the best I can and just try to help. That's all I'm here to do is help bring you guys some ideas uh, and some knowledge on some of these products. That way you can make a decision in the future. Thank you guys so much and let's get into this monocrystalline solar panel that I picked up for $70 on eBay. Now, I don't know if they're still on eBay, but if they are, I will leave the link in the description. If not, I will leave a link of a one that is very, very similar that I saw. Um, so I'll leave a couple options there for you in case you wanna pick up one of these solar panels. Now, why do you need a solar panel? Well, one, if you have one of these power stations that I have right here, it is a very, very good way to get it charged via the sun. Also, if you're on a camping trip or with everything going on these days with the weather related power outage, this is a very, very good peace of mind. If you don't have a generator, if you don't have things like that, this is a peace of mind thing that uh, I think every family and home should have. Uh, that way, in case of an emergency, you can power some things. You can power uh, you know, a TV, you can power laptops and charge cell phones and that type of thing and you, that way you have a peace of mind that you at least have some power to power some things um, so it is a good peace of mind to be able to power some equipment and you can keep it charged with your solar panel so it's very very cool now this stuff is kind of expensive and that's why it is a peace of mind thing so if you can afford it I would definitely put it away you know put some money away and get something like the power pack and the solar panel so you have a little peace of mind at home if the power goes out and you need some things if you don't can't afford a generator or can't find a generator right now you definitely can still find some of these little power packs okay so uh, i'm going to talk about the power pack just briefly real quick just so you guys know what i'm working with here this is the big blue 300 watt power station and i do have a review video on this i'll leave a link in the description for it but basically my biggest thing is it just had so many options and so many ports and everything that it was very very important that it had uh you know it has the two grounded uh outlets and two normal so it was, very, it was really hard to find something like this and i did pay i think they were 250 dollars when they came out i didn't pay that i paid around 220 but now they're at 199 dollars guys uh, that's a fantastic deal do the research guys look for something that's 300 watts 600 watt max uh, power station like this you are not going to find that for 200 dollars. and this one actually works pretty good so i think it is a great deal and i think you know you guys should pick it up like i said i'm not sponsored by anybody but it's been working good for me and i purchased this with my own money and i think it's a good idea for you guys to do that as well for peace of mind and emergency type things uh, i would just like to know that everybody might have some power if the power goes out to be able to you know run a fan uh, run a tv to watch emergency things um, charge your phone you know be able to keep in touch with people and things like that so very very cool there all right let's get into the solar panel it's kind of the reason why i wanted to make this is update what was going on there and then update how i'm getting it charged with my solar panel this panel, like I said, I got on eBay for around $70. It comes with a lot of accessories, so I was pretty excited. I got it fast. It's actually better well-built than I thought it was gonna be for you know the price point of $70. Uh, but like I said, uh, there are some others out there and they're gonna easily be between $99 and $150. That's just pretty much the way the market is right now on these panels. And so to find this one for 70, I thought it was an absolute deal and I just picked it up right away. Uh, so if you do find these, uh, and I'll leave a link for this one if it's still in eBay, but I will uh, put that on there. But if not, there's some on Amazon that are very, very comparable, and I'll leave the links for those as well. So now, the po most power boxes, will power stations will say they want a 100-watt 
uh, solar panel, but it does in small print say that a 60 uh, watt will work, uh, panel will work. So it definitely is going to take longer. I think uh, 12 to 18 hours on a 100 watt, uh, but it's going to take, you know, definitely more than that with a 60 watt. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's talk about this uh, panel. So I picked it up in the mail, came up, uh, came in this box. There's absolutely no labeling or anything. There's no uh, brand names or anything on it. So I don't know, you know, what it is or what company makes it, but it's actually very, very nice. These panels are very, very nice. Like I say, it is a mono uh, crystalline, which we'll talk about the difference in a second. Uh, I do have a little scuff on there because I've definitely been using it. Uh, so it is very, very cool. It has these little hooks so you can hook uh, or these little circle rings so you can run a hook through it or something. Uh, I kind of set up uh, those little hooks to like hook a plant on your ceiling and I put two of those smaller hooks on the side of my porch and or my deck and I can just hang this on the side where I know it gets the most sun and that's where my panel hangs so it's kind of a kind of cool that it has those hooks already uh, so it does fold out right here and it has a nice little button right here to connect these all together it does fold only one way so you gotta make sure you fold it right but has that and then it has a nice little handle here that you can hold uh, it does come with a little pack inside here you can see this is your charge for your power pack but this is a port here so to do some charging and then it comes with a let's see if I can get that in there there we go right there it, so it will light up when the sun's hitting it and it will have a 2.0 USB and a 3.0 and then here's a power for like charging a laptop or something like that also uh, this cord will also work for that uh, this is the one I just plug it straight in to charge my power station here um, and it does come with a very long extension cord so you can you know hook it up kind of far away uh, I would say this is easily like an 8 foot 10 foot cord uh, so it's kind of like a, an extension adapter and then this is the actual adapter to plug into the unit or plug into the uh, cord here and it comes with these adapters for you know different type devices maybe a laptop or those types of things that will plug onto here and then this one plugs into there so very very cool you get all these accessories uh, the coolest accessory that it came with is this USB to uh, three-way adapter for lightning, USB Type-C, or uh, micro. It has all three adapters on there and your USB. So that's very, very cool as well. And this is actually a pretty decent cable. So I was surprised about that. comes with two little hooks. There's one. I just dropped one on the floor and it bounced away, but there was two hooks in here. Uh, so it comes with those hooks to go through the loops uh, if you want to use those to attach it some way as well. Um, the cheapest item that it came with was the 12 volt adapter right here. So you have uh, you know two little alligator clips to go to a 12 volt battery and then plug into the unit. But this is very, very, very cheap. The wires are super, super thin and um, since then it is already you know broke one time so uh the little alligator clip came off you can see so very very thin now i can easily resolder it but i would say that probably ditch that and purchase another one if you really want to use an alligator clip uh, because it was those wires are very very thin and um, like i said it fell apart right away so just an option there all right guys so of all the things that was the cheapest item in there that I would not recommend using uh, because like I said it's it was so thin it was almost like seems faulty to me so um, other than that guys everything else in the kit I would definitely say was very very uh, decent um, and worked well okay so from the actual panels themselves um, like I said from the actual panels themselves we can see this and this this is a four foot table so this panel is about a little less than four feet long and i would say there's it's a uh, about 14 inches high so you know a pretty good size panel here 
and like you see it kind of stands itself up uh, if, if you want to set it up that way as too but you just got to make sure that the panel doesn't fall down on itself because then you won't get any charge so other than that guys let's talk about charging time so it's probably something important you guys want to know about so when I plug this outside now of course on an overcast day you're not going to get as many volts as on a pure sunny day so um, so from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening that's 12 hours uh, so you would need two days 24 hours um, and a little bit extra to charge this power pack okay guys and the only reason is because uh, I wouldn't want to leave this outside in case it rains because this the box itself is not waterproof or anything like that uh, the panel is and the, the you know the case and the panel are all waterproof but my power pack is not waterproof so every night I would bring it in so um, it takes about 30 to 32 hours to charge this off a 60 watt uh, panel so I wish if if I could leave it plugged in it pro it probably would take you know the 30 to 32 hours uh, if you have to plug it in and keep plugging it in and take it off and you can only plug it in certain times of the day it might take a little bit longer it might take maybe 30 to 34 hours you know somewhere in there but that is you're easily going to take about three days to get this from zero i mean completely dead to charged fully it's going to take about three days to get that done with a 60 watt panel and if you're not using it as well so kind of um, a little bit longer a little bit a little bit excessive at least with this so on a and then uh, voltage wise I was picking up let's see 20 on an overcast day I was getting 12 20 volts or 32 watts and then on a full sunny day I was getting 22 volts at 35 watts so um, and I did some comparison to other videos out there on 60 watt panels and it was kind of comparable It was only about uh, Four to five watts off from other some other pan 60 watt panels out there. So, you know, I don't have any problem with this It's maybe a little bit light uh, on the voltage that correct voltage that is getting from the panels, but very very close so uh, I'm not too down on anything because it was very comparable to the ones that I saw in the videos uh, voltage and watts wise so uh, pretty cool there for the price point that I got this so all right guys let's talk about positives and negatives guys finish this video up for you guys uh, on this panel definitely positive because it's a value at $70 like I said these easily cost between 99 to 150 so finding this at 70 was a deal now the 12 volt adapter that fell apart on me Yes, that was the cheapest piece in the whole unit, but I'll take the rest of everything. And if they would not even included that, uh, I still think it would have it been a fantastic deal and everything's working. Now it does take a little bit longer. It, so in about, uh, if you charge this from eight to, for 12 hours, you almost get half power on this. Okay, so you get, you get about two bars. I think there's five bars on it. Um, Let's see. Yeah, there's five bars. Yeah, five bars. So you get two bars in 12 hours. So you get another two bars in another 24 hours. So in the 24 hours, you'll get the four bars. And then you need another about 10 to get the one bar. So, uh, or in between that or the way it worked for me at least uh, so another eight to ten hours to get that extra bar so uh, that's kind of the way it breaks down in the way it works so with a 60 watt now they say with a hundred watt you can get this done in the you know almost you know 12 to 20 hours uh, bracket so that would definitely um, take you down in time of charging but like I said in you know in a full day of charging you can get those two bars and those two bars will charge a lot of items including a laptop tablets phones and stuff so it kind of works itself out uh, if you're okay with the extra time on it and saving the money with the uh, 60 watt panel versus a 100 watt panel now like I said a 100 watt panel is going to cost you 
easily 150 to 250 dollars so you're definitely saving some money with a 60 watt but like i said you're definitely going to take longer to charge a unit like this so all right guys other than that i will leave links in the description for the power box which i think guys is a peace of mind in these days of power outages and weather issues and things that are causing power outages it's a peace of mind to have something that you're going to be able to use to plug in some devices for you um, it's also a peace of mind to have this solar panel to be able to charge the unit that's going to be powering your devices and also you know in a, in a straight emergency guys you can throw this panel outside even on an overcast day and it's going to provide some juice to charge phones tablets smaller devices you're still going to have straight power just using the solar panel so it is another peace of mind that you'll be able to charge some items and get it done so very very cool there i will leave links in the description for the power unit itself and then which is at a great value right now at, at around 200 dollars and then also for the uh if i can find it on ebay for this uh, mono crystal uh unit itself uh as well so i'll leave a link for items that are very very similar as well on amazon for like around 99 dollars. like i said i'll try to keep it under the hundred so if you bought these together um, like i said this started out at 250 dollars. so if you bought th if you bought this unit for 200 and you bought this for you know even 99 you're 300 dollars on a, a really solid investment of having some ways to power some items out there for you guys also if you guys wanted uh just a little bonus to this video since i didn't talk about it but the difference between a mono crystal and a poly crystal line uh, solar panel um, just in case you guys want a little extra information i did do a little research on that and just basic layman terms is basically a mono crystal line um, is a single cut you know uh, crystal of silicone is the way they make the panels and then the poly is many fragments of these crystals melted together and then that's how they make the panels with the poly now they say the poly is less expensive it is a little bit less efficient and it comes with like a bluish hue but it's still durable and it still lasts a long time uh, they say the same thing for the monocrystals except the monocrystals will be a little bit more expensive uh, and they'll uh, be a little bit more efficient so you know they are kind of saying the monocrystals are a little bit better and they also have like the very black hueish to them they don't have a blue hueish they have a black so you kind of kind of tell the difference there just on the color itself um, but basically that's kind of the, the the difference between the two ones now they're both going to be durable and they're both going to work but like I said, uh, they, they find that the mono crystals are a little bit more efficient than the poly uh, crystals as well. So that's a little bonus feature and a little bonus extra information, guys. Like I said, I will leave links. Thank you guys for tuning in. I have tons more videos. This has been an update on the Big Blue Power Station and my way to charge it via the sun with the solar panel right here. Uh, I thought it was a great value and I thought I'd bring it to you. I will leave the link for eBay if it's still out there for this. And I also leave a link for items that are very, very similar. Um, maybe a little bit more expensive, but a little very similar to the one that I have right here. There might be just maybe some size difference or uh, things like that, but they'll, I'll try to find them with the same accessories and everything. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been Midwest Raider Reviews coming at you with this review. Thank you so much. More videos to come. We'll talk to you guys later.